So it's my mommy's birthday next week and I'm really really excited. People always think that like growing older is a bad thing. I think the more you age, the more you should celebrate. So actually, I, you know, I got a pleasant surprise yesterday. Marina said, oh, mommy, it's your birthday. So like we're going to Las Vegas. So the furthest we've gone from LA and that's you not for enjoyment purposes has been Anaheim. I think it's really, really a big deal for us that we finally get to see a little bit of the States and like travel together and have a good time. Oh, I'm super, super, super excited about this trip to Las Vegas and I'm really looking forward to doing some gambling there. <laughs> Hi, so welcome to episode nine of No Worries Curry. And today we are cooking the world famous chicken tandoori. Do you want to talk a little bit more about tandoori? Yeah, tandoori actually is very popular all over the world. And also in the US, it's I think one of the most popular Indian dishes. Originally it was cooked in clay ovens, but now like people can also make it at home with modern ovens. A little bit about the history, it goes back to the Middle East and because the Mughals used to cook chicken in this style and in big clay pot ovens and that's how like you know many of the Indian kebabs or tandoori dishes have remained like that. So without further ado, let's go and make some chicken tandoori for you. Marina, let me show you how to make it. As you can see that we put the chicken in the bowl. Now Marina, take a fork make holes in the chicken Ooh, chicken holes uh, in india normally chicken tandoori is made without the skin but like here we've kept the skin so it's up to you in the end like you know some people i think we should take it off yeah maybe. i think we should take it off the original recipe is without chicken skin all right i take this off always make sure to wash your hands after handling raw chicken because you know there's always the scare of like salmonella uh, now I would suggest take a fork and like prick some holes in it because like that helps you know with the marinade It helps it to like go deeper into it's the so meat. It's a funny noise. <laughs> Get like you know make some nice deep holes in it. Two holes in it. Stab! Stab Marina! You need to stab the chicken. Then now uh, you know um, take the lemon okay. and rub it all over the chicken. Right. Like put a lot of lemon juice. Okay, how much salt? Uh, half a teaspoon. All right. Uh, then take uh, ginger and garlic. I think you can be a little bit more generous here with ginger garlic. We are using chopped ginger and garlic, but you can use ginger garlic paste. Half a cup? Yeah, half a cup. You could be a bit more generous with ginger and garlic here. Quarter teaspoon of chili powder. And now, uh, you know, you marinate the whole thing with uh, yogurt. Yum, yum, yum. And this is where, like, you really have to get your hands dirty. Come on, get cracking, Marina. Sometimes, you, uh, like, people put food coloring, like, you know, to make it that nice red color. But we're not going to We're not it. going to do that. I think we just put a little bit more of chili powder to make it a bit red. So, here's the chili powder. Yeah, now you have to put it in the fridge for the next three hours for it to be like well marinated. Now that the chicken's in the fridge, it's time for an icebreaker. Ooh, I love icebreakers. What's like a very traditional like Indian drink? I've, I've realized that we haven't explored that part of Indian food and beverage. Uh, in very popular Indian drink is lassi, which is also popular everywhere globally. It's a yogurt drink. It's basically mixed with yogurt. You can put any kind of flavor, like you can actually put it into a blender, yogurt and like uh, berries or mangoes in mango season. And then you blend it and you put in some sugar, uh, ice cubes, and then like you have your the lassi right in front, front of you. Okay, so now Marina, our three hours are up. You have to get the uh, chicken from the fridge and like we have to put it into the oven. Yeah, preheat the oven for 10 to 15 minutes. And we're ready to go. Oh. You have to keep it around like maybe 40 minutes in the oven or till you know, you feel that the chicken is like tender. 
So it's been 40 minutes and it's time to take the chicken out of the oven. Yes. I would recommend getting gloves because I don't want to burn my hands. Oh, that looks good. Amazing. Wow. Now, I think from what I've seen of tandoori chicken, there's something to add. Could you tell me what that is? Yeah, that's normally, you know, when they serve them uh, tandoori chicken in the restaurants, it's always on a platter, on a heated platter, which like sizzles. Since we can't do that at home, they sprinkle a lot of onions, which are like chopped in strips. And also sometimes like uh, green peppers, but like we, we are just like, it's going enough. Simple we're going simple onions. and we're just putting onions. And I'm going to put a very nice piece of lemon but I must get a knife. You should use a cutting board for this. Do not copy this. It's maybe one, two, three. And that's delicious. Wow, look at that. Beautiful. Now I'm gonna cut two pieces of chicken over here. The struggle is real. But we're looking good. Mom, why don't you take that piece? Okay. And I will take another little piece mm, that was really good i'm really proud of us like we've made some mm, amazing food this has on been the show. so good oh my god go and make your no worries chicken tandoori and enjoy the rest of your day while you're at it take a picture and let us know how it comes out on instagram bye, bye.